Well, I think that uh, we all know that the relationship between Russia and the UK has been uh, gone through a, quite a difficult period in recent years. Um, and I think that one of the things that the education and cultural relationship can do is that when there are political difficulties, it can maintains and continues the people-to-people -people relationship, which is going to be so important for the future. For us here in Britain, the U Russia is going to be uh, one of our most important partners for the foreseeable future. And we need to make sure that we really work on making that relationship a one which is close, um, um, and warm, and uh, the culture and education side is one way of actually doing that, perhaps one of the most important ways of doing it. Indeed, and this year is the UK-Russia year of space, as I understand it. Absolutely. Um, and are there other events planned throughout the year? Yeah, I think there are. Obviously, this, is, this, is, this particular event is, is one highlight for that. But essentially, it isn't simply just about big uh, 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 events, but also about warming the relationship and, and finding ways in which we can work together more closely, whether that is through research, through education, or through scientific, uh, joint scientific uh, working. And do you think there's a lot of room for, for the people to people uh, relationships absolutely. to improve and flourish? Absolutely. I think there's an absolute f uh, fascination here in the UK uh, about things Russian. And Russia has a huge fascination for, for, the, for Britain as well. So there's lots and lots of opportunity. And we have things like the um, very large Henry Moore exhibition, which will be happening soon. Uh, we have uh, a film uh, uh, weeks. Uh, we have uh, a whole host of university to university links, um, including particularly scientific research links, and that's something which I think we really have to welcome. Mr. Krikalev, uh, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Um, obviously today is a great day uh, symbolically for UK-Russian relations. I wonder whether you might be able to speak a little bit about the prospects for cooperation in space science in the future. As I said, we're already in a long way of uh, cooperation. We have joint missions 20 years ago. We, our scientists are working together for years. So this uh, installing of this statue is just a symbolic step showing that uh, we did great in the past, we, we are going to do a new adventure in the future and uh, I think most important is not just installing the statue but also public attention. Um, and I understand, uh, as the, the previous man said, that you are the person who spent longest in space. Right. Uh, I wonder whether you could tell me if you preferred it in space or back on Earth. Well, uh, what's nice is the change. Uh, when you are flying to space, you are waiting to be back home to see green trees and blue sky. When you're here on the ground, you, you are missing weightlessness, you are missing uh, excellent view from window, looking at different countries, different oceans uh, and all this unusual feeling of space flight. So change is nice. Okay.